Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. Tonight, I'd like to show you something that you probably won't see very many of these, or is a sight, again, very rare to see. I think, to the best of my knowledge, only two of these were ever painted up. Uh, this is the one by John Allred that he did for me, and then the other one, I believe, was actually the, the prototype painted by Jim Capone. So, this is a classic steampunk character. Um, it's sculpted by the great talent Roberto Van Beer, who's uh, done a couple of pieces that I have uh, bought. He's very good at sculpting females. As you can see, this is an odd little piece. It's not a full size statue. You're missing the legs. Not all of the legs. Just the bottom part. And then, of course, she sits on the base with a lot of the clockwork motif. Um, so technically, this is a bust, but it's got a lot more than a normal bust. It's essentially almost a, a three-quarter bust, you know, almost a full-size statue, but not quite. And then we're going to turn, take a look at the back. Believe it or not, this actually is a working clock. You put a AA battery in there, and it will actually drive the shorthand, and it can actually move. It's not a very good clock. It's not a very accurate clock, but it does, uh, it does move. You probably don't want this to tell time uh, for very long because of how much power can a AA battery actually you know, give you, so I took it out. But again, it's a neat little touch that this actually comes with a working clock if you so wish it. Now, before getting into the details uh, of this uh, amazing sculpt and paint job, uh, I like to turn attention to the actual source art. So I have it you know, brought up on my iPad mini. So this is it right here. This is the actual inspiration for the sculpt itself. Um, her name is Sarah Hunter. She's I really know nothing about her. Um, she's a model, an actress, etc. Uh, but she obviously poses, you know, for these types of pictures. She likes cosplaying, that type of thing. Uh, this is something that she put together. Her uh, alter ego, or alter persona, is Lady Clankington. Lady Clankington, and that is the name of the sculpt as well, Lady Clankington. So the first thing to just look at is. Um, you know, she did a fantastic job with this costume. If this is for Halloween, she definitely should win first prize. Um, it's a classic sort of steampunk theme, a lot of um, working gears. Again, she's almost like this futuristic version of the Tin Man. Uh, you can see a lot of the detailing she put in on her gloves, all these you know, metal uh, contrivances, and then, again, the, the clockwork motif all throughout her costume. Uh, you know, her choker, her earrings. Uh, if you look very closely, you know, you can see her bottom lip is pierced. So again, this is Lady Clankington. This is the source art that Roberto you know, was working from when he then uh, sculpted this. Very nice work. Again, uh, let's go very close up. And you know, he did take some artistic license. I think the, um, the portrait is decent. Um, it's a very pretty face. Um, you know, Sarah Hunter herself is you know very attractive. This is not a perfect representation of her, uh, but again, it depends on, of course, the angle you are looking at and from what angle you're looking at. But um, he even got the actual piercing correct. We actually, you know, John Albert actually put in a real metal piercing through the lower lip, and then we added sort of the uh, monocles, again in keeping with the steampunk uh, inspiration for this piece. The hair is accurate, um, down to the short ponytail, wearing it high up. Um, John Allred painted it very accurate to the actual source art to the point where, um, you know, he got the clothes white as well. I think uh, Jim Capone's version is a little bit more tan. Um, he did a great job with the base. Let's take a look at the base right here. Nice weathering effect. A little bit dusty. I've had it put away for a long time. This is an old piece, old garage kit, 
over five years old, I believe. So a very nice weathering um, effect for all of the, the gears of the clock all the way up and then she attaches here. You can see just the beginnings of the, uh, the pantyhose right over here. And then of course, um, you replicate all of the little tiny uh, rivets and the wires. Um, again, the, this actually moves the cylinders connected with the holes. You know, this is all mixed media typically. Here's the ring in the, the lion. I don't even know what these are. Breastplate, you know? Uh, this is of course a real, real chain. Um, nice work on the eyes, nice and brown. An actual metal stud piercing. Let's take a look over here. You can see some of that detail. So you know, overall, this is just a magnificent sculpt by Roberto. So accurate to the source uh, photograph, to the source art. All the little tiny details are there. Here's the little rivets over here. All the different uh, wheels kind of, you know, sculpted it in. And then John, of course, bring it all to life with a brushed metal look. Beautiful costuming. A working clock on the side. Just a very unique um, statue, very unique bust. Very well done. I'm not sure if this is still in print. I tend to doubt it because it's been so long. I don't think it's been sold anymore, which is a shame. Here's her corset on the back. Again, more of those little rivets all the way there. This is where you put the battery. So. A beautifully done piece. And again, I'm proud to say, I think I probably own just one of the two painted versions. I haven't really seen a whole lot of other versions on it. If you do a, a search, you're gonna see mainly uh, Jim Capone's version. And I don't know if John uh, has actually publicized this very much. He might have at one point, but he does so much work anyways. Um, so that might be a little bit harder even to find. But I think the, those are the only two built versions out there. And uh, they of course both did a magnificent job but again, yeah, just kind of highlighting some of the, the paint work, um, some of the little mixed media pluses that were added to bring her to life. You can see a little bit of the glint of the metal. Very nice piece, very striking piece. And again, I've been sort of on a little bit of a kick uh, trying to show some of the older classics, some of the garage kit classics. Um, you know, because of the popularity, the, the, you know, the more recent popularity, explosion in popularity of comic book movies from, of course, both Marvel and DC, the statue world, the custom world, are, are now dominated by superheroes, which is fine. You know, there was a vacuum there. There's always room for another great interpretation of a lesser known hero or villain. Um, but the creative, I think, core has really been kind of taken over by that. And while that's fine as far as it goes, I like to showcase pieces once in a while to remind people that, hey, before superheroes were out there, um, this art exists. You know, um, things that aren't superheroes, that are not DC, Marvel, Star Wars licenses, unique, uh, creative, and artistic, uh, you know, ideas, uh, talent, uh, striking, and uh, wholly original. Um, again, you know, this is a work of art based off of a cosplay from an online model who likes to do bondage and steampunk. And she created this striking, beautiful character with a wonderful costume. And then somebody decided to commission a sculptor to bring that to 3D life and get it painted up. Um, you know, how wonderful is that? And then here you have it. So I do like to collect and own sometimes unique, quirky, you know, um, pieces like this. And when you, when I'm doing this video of her, I just kind of, again, appreciate again, all of that extra little detail, all the effort that was placed into making this uh, come alive. 
and I just really love the again the the gears, you know, the costuming, all the the subtle hints of, again of the clockwork theme. So here you go. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Again, you won't see many examples of this out there. Until next time, I think I'm going to do one more uh, little interesting garage kit. But until that time, take care.